Beautiful morning. Oh, Jesus. My morning routine is very simple. Wake up, pray. Especially, what is today, Tanti? Friday. Friday, gym day. So after a long um, service, I'm up early. I'm a busy body. I don't like to be idle. Um, I'm ready to go to the gym. Have some, what are we having? A coffee or tea? <laughs> coffee. Coffee. By the way, that's my little sister the back there. I, I really stress her out, but she loves it. Do you I love do, it? I do. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? How sure are you? I'm very sure. But she wants to get married and leave us, so. Having daughters is hard. I miss it. You're just gonna burn my fingers this morning. I called it off. I actually broke cold water. Man, you didn't even give me a warning, nothing. Wow. See, this is why you need to trust in the Lord. Not in sisters, not in brothers, though. They'll burn you. That's a revelation, right? No, it's not. <laughs> Sit. Good girl. Um. Okay, you ready? Easy. <laughs> Snow. So I have names for my dogs. Because Nessa loves people. Her, her name is really Nesta, we just say Nessa. But because she loves people so much, we call her Evangelist Nessa. Oh. She goes to everybody. And then we have Prophet Snow. <laughs> he doesn't trust anybody. <laughs> He only trusts those we trust, so we call him Prophet Snow. And then Apostle Milo, he's always ready to fight somebody. Where is he? <laughs> Let me show you something cool. So, you know, I used to do music. Next time we'll do like studio stuff. But <laughs> this is how crazy my home is. Sometimes when I'm like moving and clearing out gear, audio nerds will know what this is. This is cool stuff. This is really cool stuff. So when I was like uh, producing music, every time like I, I placed a song, which means that you landed like a big song, I always not only saved money, but I always bought like gear to remember what song it was that I placed. Me and my brother Christian, we love, you know, we, we love reggae so much. It's, it's actually kind of crazy how much reggae we love. Every time I think about it, it's a... Uh, but as you can see, it's um, I've been up since six. Now it's seven, and um, yeah, this is the morning. Hang out, and uh, you see how my day goes. Whenever I'm ready to take on the day, I have to do this. Yeah, now we're ready to go. His name is Coach Keenan. He can tell you a little bit about himself and how long we've been training and what he's trying to make me look like. Oh man. Uh, I first met uh, Lovi almost almost 10 years ago. The time kind of flies by and uh, we watched everything happen in his life and my life and we had a really nice friendship along the way but also uh, seeing each other grow and uh, becoming a better fighter myself and then you know watching him accomplish and go after all of his goals and just and just shine and, and just be yeah it's so amazing to be here I always so feel so good and uh, it's there's no place like uh, being in here when you're in here sometimes you feel like you're going to die but that perseverance teaches you to grow you know so everything that you do in life you have to make sure that you do it like unto God I really really enjoy this because it, it really changed my mind I always um, would come to the gym and it, I, I did things I did not think I could do you know spiritually I know I'm a giant physically that body can let you down if you don't take care of it you know and part of serving God is making sure your temple is taken care of not just spiritually but physically I believe in healing and God has used me to heal so many people but 
the reality is this is that if you are not taking care of yourself you just gave the devil like a license to destroy your body we don't want to keep praying for healing you know we want healing to be like our emergency you know but we don't want to like put ourselves in a position where we will need healing doesn't make sense to me i'm sorry sorry coach this is coach julio one of the greatest coaches <laughs> in the whole world Thank you, love. He's, he's been such a great mentor to me, and I honor this man so much. Thank you, man. He, I used to come train with him, and I would get so nervous. I always tell him this story. My stomach would turn inside out. He really pushed me, and uh, part of growing is you need people like him to push you. And you need, we have mentors in every area of life, and he's definitely one of my mentors and my teachers. I inbox him every time, and I tell him, Coach, you've made me a better man. Thank and you. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you, Thank Coach. Thank you so much. My gloves have my name, huh? 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 And then look at this. Ah. Uh huh. Yeah. Three. Oh, double jab. When you guys are going for any type of goal, consistency is the most important thing. You can't take a break when obstacles come your way. Because no matter what, one way or the other, you're going to end up with some obstacles. Towards any goal that's worthwhile doing, you're going to find a little bit of hardship along the way. And it's so important to find your consistency in your character and consistency in your work ethic. It's not just about showing up every day. It's also about being that same type of person who wanted that goal just as much in the beginning as when it gets hard. One thing about coach that is so inspiring to me is that I work hard but he works like extra hard. There's no day he's ever missed a class. If he's not in class, he's coaching or cornering a fighter. Other than that, he's always working. Coach, just tell us what it means to be consistent, what it does for you. Um, man, it just brings structure, you know. It's uh, one of the first things that, that I think uh, people kind of lack is a little bit of structure. And uh, just knowing, you know, having something already planned, I think that's important too, planning. Planning, planning ahead and knowing you have to be somewhere. Um, when you do this, you know, if there's no consistency, you're falling behind. And that's pretty much the truth about anything. You know, you're consistent with this. If you're training for a fight, you're consistent, you know you're right there with your opponent. You miss one day, you know that's one day that your opponent has ahead of you. So, and again, the same thing with life, you know? I know people like sometimes they'll go to work, they'll miss a day and they feel like they miss so much the yes. next day they go to work. Yes. I don't like that feeling. Yes. So I promised myself that I would never have that feeling. Wow. So, That's yeah. Cool. That's a lot of wisdom, man. Even, uh, you know, it's the same thing spiritually too. The devil has no days off. You take a day off, you're done. Coach, thank you so much. Yes, sir. See you Absolutely. tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.